Welcome to today's video. Today's video is kind of a mix of multiple concepts rolled into one. The first thing I want you guys to be aware of, or I guess get excited for, is this is an alternative to taking your dogs on a walk. So when it's cold outside, it's snowing, it's below freezing, and it's way too cold to take our dogs for a walk, you can use this game in place of it. It's a fitness game, so it's going to help our dogs build some muscles. And it is also a confidence game. Putting your feet on something weird, something novel, is a really, really scary thing for some dogs. For others, not so much, but depending on what type of object you use, like I will be using an inflatable object, the level that it is inflated can be scary for some dogs. So the platform I'm gonna be using is just a disc that you can buy off of Amazon and it is rather inflated. So for my dog who's been doing this for a while, it's going to be easier than for a dog who's never done anything like this. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Go ahead, check it out. All right, so I have my platform that I'm going to be using. This is just a balanced disc made originally for humans, but I'm going to be using it with Atlas here. Um, we are just going to be practicing adding value to this little tiny platform. I do have it um, blown up quite a bit, but if your dog is unsteady or not confident enough to put his, his or her feet on this object, go ahead and make sure that it stays deflated. That will allow um, allow the dog to grow to the point where they can eventually get to something so in, uh, inflated like this is. So I have this here and I'm going to put it on the ground. Make sure you guys can see it. So we'll put it back here. Perfect. And what I'm going to start by doing is just adding value for putting their feet on there. So I'm going to use my food as a lure. Maybe even steady it with my foot, yes. Once both feet are on there, I'm going to yes and treat, and then I'm going to release them off of the platform. So free, good job, good. Free. Yes, good boy, free. I'm also gonna work on releasing off both ways so that my dog can, um, no matter how slowly, oh, you're okay. No matter how slowly they can um, work on turning both ways and not favoring one side over the other. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Yes, you can reward multiple times to build duration. Good, free. Now, since I'm not working on like a carpet or a softer floor with more grip, I'm going to try and make sure my dog doesn't slip as much as possible. I know with laminate and hardwood floors, it's kind of hard for that, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Good boy. Now, you can kind of see how unsteady Atlas is with all of this. That's because he probably has a weaker core than needed for this exercise. And as he continues doing it, as he remembers to engage his core, it's been a while since we've done this. So um, as we continue working on it, you can see he gets more and more steady as time goes on. And that's one of the great things about this um, exercise is that working on our dog's fitness, no matter how simple it may seem, and I really, really love this for our working breeds, our cattle dogs, um, high energy breeds in general, because it slows them down. We're building, like I said, we're building that core and we are really working on preventing injury with this exercise. So not only is it a great exercise when the weather is kind of trash outside for lack of better words, and it's all snowy and cold, and it's potentially too cold to even walk our dogs, it's a great exercise to prevent injury in the future. So maybe he is working on, um, or he's playing a bunch of fetch. This will help prevent any type of injury. 
Now there's a bunch of ways that you can grow just this simple task. You can work on lower body awareness. You can work on body positions. Um, you can work on so many different things. I really like using this for pivots. And by doing this, I'm working on hind end awareness, but also when I do any type of heel work, free, I am also working on my turns, my left and right turns just from um, doing this because my dog practices seeing me close to this um, whenever I turn, whenever a turn happens. Good boy. And if there is a failure somewhere and they're like how he slipped off, I'm still going to reward it. I'm still going to praise it. I don't want this disc to be something that my dog is afraid of. Free. But the main thing I want you guys to practice for now and to really work on before you start trying to make it more difficult for your dog is just simply building value for this object. Yes. Free. Yes. Good boy. Free. Yes. Free. Yes. Good job. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is a great way to, um, a great alternative for walks, a great way to build fitness, and a great way to build confidence within your dog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, like the video, share the video, hit that subscribe button. But I also want to talk about my online course. My online course goes over all of these, um, all of these different things, including how to curb reactivity, distraction work, confidence, household manners, and so much more. And it is all given to you with the full support of me throughout the entire thing. So that link is in the description below. I highly suggest that you check it out. I am in love with this course. I'm so proud of myself for making it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you next time.